So Captain Tom Moore became a national treasure after raising millions of quid for the NHS at the height of the first lockdown here in the United Kingdom. He walked laps in his garden to do it. And he earned himself with a Zimmer frame, a knighthood, as well as a promotion to honorary colonel. And even he, folks, even he, a hero like that, isn't safe from cancellation. Captain Tom's Twitter account posted a picture of him with his family in Barbados. They were having a nice time. And upon doing so, he was met with the kind of a torrent of the kind of bitter and resentful, not only class warfare, but a unique form of hatred that's almost exclusively found on Twitter. A selection of some of the replies he received include, fine for Tory C words to travel, is it? The absolute irony of this bloke raising millions for the NHS when his family are literally the most Tory slash bootlicking people I've seen in my entire life. And what part of stay home, save lives and protect the NHS that, brackets, he raised money for, close bracket, did he not understand? I could go on. In true mob fashion, folks, the cancellation was issued without researching what had actually taken place here. The 100-year-old, basking in the rays of the Barbados sunshine with his family, thought he'd never be able to travel again after being gifted the flight by British Airways. Captain Tom has since revealed, according to the Daily Mail, that he's ticked off an item on his bucket list, thanks to British Airways, by jetting off to the tropical island. He said, the support I've been shown in 2020 has given me renewed energy and today I get to tick something off my bucket list. God bless him. So Tom, you see, lives with his daughter Hannah and her husband Colin Ingram and her, his children Benji and Georgia. They also live in the family home in Bedfordshire. So COVID rules haven't been broken in flying to enjoy this family holiday and within, within one household and tick something off the bucket list for someone at the grand old age of 100. And let's not forget, folks, that this is a man who gave such hope and optimism to the nation during that first lockdown, in which we knew, of course, precious little about the coronavirus. This World War II veteran originally tried to raise only a thousand pounds, but ended up breaking two Guinness World Records and managed a number one single as well. But you know, that's not enough for the mob. And how dare they, even if he had jetted off to escape the lockdown, class warfare leftists criticise someone who's a hundred years old for wanting to enjoy his remaining time on this earth? How dare they assume that they can gauge Sir Tom's risk and deny him of his agency? This is the cruel reality, folks, of much of the lockdown fanaticism. It denies us of our agency. It cruelly snatches older people from being able to enjoy the final few years of their lives or months, or days even, you know? It's ageism plainly and simply, and we're here for a good life, not a long life. Whilst we should take our personal responsibility, wear our masks and wash our hands and keep our space, how dare anyone suggest that they can deny someone of a trip like this on their bucket list? Someone who has sacrificed already so much for this country. It's utterly pathetic, and it speaks to just how fast the mob will turn, just how poorly researched it always is, and just why we must stand up against it at every turn. I, for one, folks, hope Sir Tom has a bloody fabulous time on this holiday, and I wish him and his family a very, very Merry Christmas and a bloody brilliant New Year. I'm Darren Grimes for Reasons UK.